What are we doing today for you, mate? What do you want to get out of this beard? Okay. I just kind of want to, like, keep it similar to the way it's going, but just neaten it up. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully have it looking a little bit tidier than it is okay. at the what I'm going to end up doing is probably just taking that quite high mm -hmm. so that we can allow this hair to start growing back into the beard. Okay. Get this nice and neat on the ears, you know, just like off the ears there. And then we're going to take your natural line higher today. What okay. I might do is I might just back fade this all to that point, right? So all this here is going to be quite short. Okay. You're still going to have your beard running almost triangular. Yeah. Like that. You know, okay, the shadow of the beard is still going to be there. Yeah, this we're going to fade yeah, down quite short to get this to grow out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I get what and then in two weeks we can see where we're at. Maybe a month we can see it'll be even better because then we've got enough okay. growing all the way. All right. So we're just over directing that a little bit back so we can keep a bit of a square shape on the beard. And also just remove all that weight behind the beard there. As you can see now where that line is underneath we need to get all of that back. So today I'm just going to take this onto the jawline <laughs> and I'm basically just going to remove all of that. Just giving you a little bit more of a thickness running through that bottom bit there. And then obviously here I'm just going to take this down a little bit and back fade that. But big difference. What I'm going to do is just run this 0.5 here just so that we can kind of almost fade what's going on here. I'm still going to take this quite short today because all of that's really, really short. So. You can see he's also got very sensitive skin here and obviously all growing in different directions as well. So that's why having the beard is better for him instead of shaving this all with a razor because it's very difficult to find the growth pattern. Just coming up really square, straight down, just to remove all that weight there. Alright, and then we're just coming back up here. It's going to be very, very tricky to, to blend that, but we'll just try and do it as best as we can. Alright, so this is a 1.5 guard that I'm just running in, into the cheeks, so we can start playing with that fade there on the cheek. Yeah, exactly, they do. So basically I'm just working my way down, but up. So down through the grades, but up through the length. Let's see what's happening here now. We've almost got rid of that line that used to be in there. So that now we can start growing his natural line up like that, a little bit higher. Just removing those little bits there. So I'll do that with a razor in a bit. So obviously we've ended up with a bit of a zero all the way on this bottom edge now. You see we've got the fade running in. There's still a little bit of a line there, but I don't want to go too much into that or else we're going to start losing the beard. I'm going a little bit higher than the natural line because I'm still going to shape this up with a razor. So that tends to go into that, that bottom edge a little bit more. What I'm going to do is just sharpen this up here for him just so that he's got like a bit of a straight line running through the beard today. I'm going to just try and fade that as well. I'm just using a number one here and I'm going down. What this is doing is basically reverse graduating the, the tab. So shorter on the top and then longer here, if you think about the way that I'm doing this. Right, I'm not getting rid of the length on the bottom there. So he's still going to have a bit of a full tash on the lip. You can see this is also very long here in these corners. So I'm going to blend those in today for you. Right, close your eyes, mate. <laughs> this we're gonna take yeah, that down a little bit. So, get that. so you can turn, you can pick it up. Take a number two here. Do this for me. Mm. Yeah. That's the one. All right. I'm just gonna do exactly the same. Just come down on it. This is something you could do at home if this is a point that really annoys you on your beard. And here I'm just removing these little flyaways because obviously he's got a bit of a curly beard, so we don't want to go too much into the interior. This is definitely a work in progress, mate. Definitely. Yeah. Recommend just yeah, don't touch yeah. the beard now yeah. at all. You can clean up the tash a little bit at home. Yeah. Off the lip. So I'm just shaping up here a little bit, just so that the hairline's a little bit cleaner. Uh, right. And then with the beard, we're just going to keep this as natural as possible. So I'm going to come in here. Pull the skin. And you see how we're getting that curved shape now. 
And you can see those couple ones there just next to the nose, I might just nip those out ever so slightly. See, so that's going back to the natural line of the tash. It's only two or three hairs. I'm just going to use the scissors now just to kind of crop in all these little fluffy bits that are sticking out, you know. Just makes it be a little no bit sharper, okay. right? <laughs> While you're growing this all out, get yourself a comb, mm -hmm. yeah? Fine tooth, not wide tooth. This is a wide tooth, obviously, you want fine tooth. And it's gonna start straightening your beard out. So if you're using like a styling balm or a beard balm, or I wouldn't say oil, because oil's not gonna really tame this. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I see. Okay. So it's better to use a balm that's gonna give you a little bit of hold and help just pull this hair down so that it can start straightening out, you know what I mean? You don't have such a strong curl that it's gonna, you know, just wire back in on itself. You can actually straighten it out just using a comb. So let's let's do that. This one now is by Citrus. Mm. More of a Christmassy kind of one, right? Yeah. You wanna go with the first one? I wanna go with the number yeah. jack. So this is obviously a styling balm, so I mean I would recommend probably just using like a pea size. Okay. Yeah, pea size is more than enough. The beauty about it, it's got moisturizing properties in it as well. So you see how easy it works into the hands. It's gone already, it's already dissipated. But because it's a styling balm, this is gonna just control the beard a little bit for us. And then if you feel great, you can always just run um, over that to just kind of set that all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bucket square. How did that go? The funniest one that I was doing.